everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kennedy and this is my channel, Kennedy Creates. Um, I hope you are all doing well. I just wanted to start off by saying thank you to all the channels who have mentioned me. Um, you probably know them, but Java Girl Stitches, Sweetwater Stitcher, and The Camping Stitcher. Thank you so much for mentioning me. Um, I really appreciate it. If you haven't checked those floss tubes out, go check them out. They, um, they make super adorable things and I love watching them and um, yeah, so thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it and um, thank you for all your comments and thank you for subscribing to me. Um, yeah, so a little bit of a week recap. Um, so my PE coach came up this with, the, with this idea to have a junior high masters um, at our school and um but it was like a nine hole miniature golf course that he set up and i got the best score out of for the females and um I want a candy so um yeah and then and then the day before that on thursday was our first softball game um there was so many girls that weren't there and my coach wasn't there so the boys coach was like do you guys know where you're going and we were like no and um, so we went out there with no practice and not knowing what we were doing. Um, but we did win 10 to four, I think it was. And um, yeah, so that was basically all. So my favorite item of the week is, um, I got these during Easter break and um, it's just the, my dog's barking. Um, so I got these during Easter break. They are, they're by It Cosmetics, the um, hydrating lip balm. And um, It Cosmetics, I got, um, got them from Ulta. And this one is Rose, and then this one is Honey. And yeah, so I really like them. It's in a lipstick form, which I thought was really cool. And um, yeah, I like to wear them to school and um, yeah, they're really nice. I I really like these because I always like a lip treatment and it's hydrating and um, yeah, it was lipstick. So this one's Honey and Rose It Cosmetics from Ulta. Yes, so those are my, that's my favorite item of the week. And um, let's see here. Okay, so let's get into my whips. So the first one I have is Spring Street and I feel like I looked at my um, cross stitch journal and I was like, oh my goodness, you guys are probably so tired of me showing um, Spring Street because <laughs> I've been showing it since like January and um, yeah, so because I took a little break from it and I was like oh my goodness I just keep showing it over and over again with barely any progress but um here it is so when I had my last floss tube I had the pink house done and um yeah so I worked on this fence and then started the, this house a little bit so there's that Um, this blue is like really pretty. It's, um, I really like the bluish color of it. So that is Spring Street by Little Stitch Girl. So yeah. And on that one, I know I've been doing like a couple of color conversions, but on that one, I didn't change any of the colors. It is all called for DMC. <laughs> Yeah, so I didn't do any conversions on that one. It had so many colors, and I thought they were all super cute, and I liked them all, what they all looked like on the fabric and everything. So, yeah. So, I didn't change that at all. Then, the next one I have is Patriotic Jar Full. Um, Stitching with the Housewives Tear Trade Tidbit. And this one I did do color conversions. And if you want to see those, go to my floss tube number nine. And um, I do list the ones that I did. Yeah, these ones I just did it in DMC. And then one of them, the blue one I did do, Weeks Dye Works. 
So here is what I have on this one. Um, I finished this flower and then I started this, um, this other jar, the S jar. And I really liked how this blue is coming out because it's variegated, it's variegated floss and I loved it. I, I was really starting to have fun with this one and um, yeah, but I had to move on to the other ones to work on. So this is Patriotic Jarful Stitching with the Housewives. And um, yeah, so if you want to see the color conversions that I did, go to Floss 2 number 9 and I do list them all. Um, it's only like a couple. I think it's five. And I did keep one 729. I kept 729 because it's a yellow color. It's this one, the yellow. So that was that one. Okay, and then the last whip is, oh man, I gotta go get the pattern to this one. Um, or maybe I don't, maybe I don't. No. Um, it is Happy Fourth of July by Primrose Cottage Stitches, um, and it is Katie's Monthly Mini. And um, yeah, so I basically just stitched like all the white, because it barely looks any different, but I did finish the happy, and then there is white, and I should have thought about the white on this one because I did do it on oatmeal, but you can kind of see it, kind of see it, but there's like two, um, fireworks up there that are kind of hard to see and then the of right there but um yeah you can still see it this one's super super cute and um super fun to work on this is the one that i did change for color and color and cotton floss that i also list in the in the ninth floss tube yeah floss tube number nine i list them all from my cross stitch journal so that is Happy Fourth of July, or is it, it's either Happy Happy Fourth of July. Yeah, that's the title of it. Happy Fourth of July by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so those are my whips, and um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about my future projects. That I haven't really showed in a in a little while um, because I just started the Fourth of July ones just out of the blue over spring break. But um, after I finish Spring Street, I am going to do Stitchville, which I have shown you Stitchville as one of my future projects. Not sure which one it was, but I did show you that I'm going to do that one. So that is the one I'm planning to do after I finish Spring Street. So after I finish this one, I'm going to do Stitchville by Camille. Ross Kelly that I did show you, Thimble Blossoms. Um, yeah. So that is the one I'm going to work on after this. So who knows how many times I keep showing you this. It could be next year. <laughs> just kidding. I need to keep working on that one. It's just so, it's just like when you have like the little ones, you just want to get them done. So you just want to get them done. And then you have the big one and you're just like... Yeah, well, me, personally. I just want to get the little ones done because it's so cute. And, um, yeah, so I just have been working on the 4th of July ones mainly. And, um, yeah, so those are my whips. And then I have some questions from floss, from different floss tubes. And um, I just want to say thank you. I, But thank you for all... Of your comments um, and your questions and if you ha ever have any questions feel free to ask in the comments and then I will answer you in the next video so I did have some comments um, Betsy wise asked would you do me a favor please and get an address for the wooden needle minders I tried to find but with no luck Okay, so the needle wooden needle minders that I that I have are um, these. So I have the Santa one and this 
bird one and these pumpkins in a basket and they are um they're on the website down sunshine lane and if you go under needle minders on that website it says uh, michelle palmer originals and then you can scroll through and you'll see all whoa you'll see all of them they're super cute there's a lot of cute christmas ones like there's snowmen and um yeah and there's fall ones and birds and stuff but i really like the christmas ones like look at that so i have this santa claus one this bird and then these pumpkins in a basket so yeah down sunshine lane click on needle minders and then under it michelle palmer originals and you will see all of these wooden ones they are so cute and um, lightweight and super nice. They're like, yeah. So these are the ones that I use. And I do have a couple other ones from like Fat Quarter Shop, but I have these three. Okay, um, then I got a, a couple of people asking me if I stitch in hand or with the loop or um, a Q snap. And I stitch in hand when my Bobby taught me she was stitching in hand and she learned from Priscilla and Chelsea stitching with the housewives. So I stitch in hand and I use um, the sewing method. So I don't stab and poke. I'm always on the top of my fabric. And um, yeah, so she taught, my Bobby taught me how using stitching in hand and the sewing method. I've never tried with a hoop. Um, I just think that I would be better just holding it and stitching in hand. Um, yeah, but I've never tried it with a hoop or anything. Um, yeah, so I stitch in hand with the sewing method and there is a video stitching in hand by stitching with the housewives that they made a couple years ago. Yeah, so I stitch in hand and my last question um is from shelly nichols do any of your friends cross stitch or sew or crochet like you or is it something that you just share with your family one of my friends i believe has crocheted with her finger with like not a hook and i don't know how to do it but she showed me this huge blanket that she did with her finger and um like crochet or something i can't remember it was so long ago but um yeah so my friends don't really cross stitch um or so or um my family does cross stitch so and crochet um but i am planning to do a video of taking one of my friends and like getting the supplies and basically starting a cross stitch when um they don't know how and videoing it and posting it to um show you how to get the supplies what you need and how to start it all so that is what i'm planning to do in the future so i thought about that and um so yeah my family does my aunt and her daughters they do um crochet and cross stitch and then I crochet, cross stitch, sew. Well, my aunt and her daughters also sew, cross stitch, and crochet. They do it all. And then, yeah, so we all do cross stitch, cross, crochet, and sew. Um, yeah, so quite the little crafters that we have. And um, yeah, so I think that is um, everything. So I just wanted to say, Thank you for joining me today. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And um, I appreciate you guys for stopping by and seeing my channel. Well, I'll see you next week. Bye.